الحمد للہ رب العالمین والآقبة المتقین ولا عدوان الا على ظالمین وصل اللہ وسلم على نبینا محمد وعلى علی وصحبہ وسلم اما احبت باللہ As a reminder to myself and my brothers and sisters the importance of Talib al-Ilm and the importance of avoiding the innovative groups like the Khawarij, Ahl takbir And I just want to mention one narration of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam about the Khawarij. And the Khawarij, Ahabat al-Filah, for those who, who don't know, they were a group, a sect, one of the earliest sects in Islam that began to make takfir or declare the Muslims to be disbelievers. They used to make takfir of the believers for the major sins. So for example, the one who drinks alcohol, they would say this person is a disbeliever in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the one who commits zina or adultery, that this person is a disbeliever. And the person who takes riba, interest, that they are a disbeliever. This is from the madhab of the Khawarij. Ahl takbir. Our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam said, Al Khawarij kilab al nar. The Khawarij are the dogs of the hellfire. Ahabatifillah, the Khawarij, what's very distinct about the Khawarij is they're one of the only groups that were mentioned specifically in the Sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam that they would uh, be apparent and they would exist and they would cause fitna for the Ummah and by name. And so that shows you that they are a serious group to contend with. And their ideology of making takfir of the believers and rushing to make takfir of the believers and making takfir bila hujjah without any evidence and that this is an innovated madhab and a deviant madhab. And that's why Ahl Iman was Sunnah are first and foremost in combating this takfiri ideology. And our beloved Prophet وسلم, also mentioned that if you are to meet them, then you, you should fight them. And that doesn't mean on every individual that you're going to fight them and physically fight them. But no doubt for the Muslim rulers and no doubt for Ahl Qudra, the people who have the ability <coughs> and who have the, the ilm that they should fight them with the pen. And this is for the ulama and this is for the talibat al-ilm. And this is for those who have the ability, the du'at al-khayr wa sunnah. That they have to speak out against these innovative madhabs. Because these people cause a great harm to the ummah of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Similar to the wicked Sufis. Those wicked people who commit bid'ah. Like really, I'm talking about bid'ah mukaffara. Those who you know, believe that it's okay to make tawaf around graves and to supplicate to the dead. And then they talk and claim that Ahlul Sunnah are extremists and Ahlul Sunnah are Wahhabi and Ahlul Sunnah are the Khawarij. So we fight them too. We fight them with the, sw uh, with the pen. And that's why it's imperative for the Duat al-Khayr wa Sunnah to speak out about, speak up and speak about innovators and innovation, especially when there is maslaha in doing so, when there is benefit in doing so. And that takes ilm wa fiqh wa basira. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to protect the ummah of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam from these innovated, wicked sinners and deviants who deviate and call people to deviation in the religion of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم